Hello students, today we'll talk about a celebrated lyric, Tears, Adult Tears, written by an eminent Victorian poet, Alfred Tennyson. This poem is an extract from a long narrative poem, The Princess Imadley, which was published in 1847. The present lyric appears in the canto fourth of this narrative poem, which is basically about the education of women, about the rights of women. This poem uh, tells the story of a heroic princess, Ida, who plans to establish a women's university where men are forbidden to enter. In this narrative poem, uh, there are seven songs which are sung by Princess Ida and her maidens. After a day's hard work, Princess Ida asks one of her maidens to sing a song and she sings Tears, Idle Tears and this song appears as the third song in that sequence of seven songs in this poem. So let's see what the maiden sings about in this song. Tears, idle tears, I know not what they mean. She sings about the idle tears, the meaningless tears, because she is unable to understand what exactly they mean. Means she is unable to explain the meaning or the cause or the purpose of those tears. Tears from the depth of some divine despair rise in the heart and gather to the eyes. She tries to associate those tears with some divine despair, that is, a deep sorrow associated with the loss of some past heavenly happiness. And just because of that loss of something divine, something heavenly, the tears rise in her heart and they pour through her eyes. In looking on the happy autumn fields and thinking of the days that are no more. In the first three lines, the singer seems to be in a state of confusion as she is not clear about the reason of her tears but here she is talking about the immediate cause of her tears and the immediate cause is the happy autumn fields, the ripe autumn fields because those uh, ripe um, fields in the autumn season they stand, stand in in a contrast to her own unhappiness, on her own loss. Because we all know autumn is the season when the corn is ripe and the harvest is ready. And the richness of the ripe field is fulfillment of the farmer's hopes and as a result a source of happiness to him. But the maiden or the persona of the poem is grieved to compare the farmer's ripe field with her own heart which is quite devoid of any happiness means she has lost her uh, happiness and she and how she has lost her happiness because now she is thinking about she is just remembering she is just recollecting those very memories which used to be a source of great happiness for her. And now that very source, those very happy days are not going to come back. Those days have passed. So here that maiden or the persona of the poem or the singer associates her tears with the memory of the loss of past happiness.
so here the tears are connected with the mammary so she keep on singing fresh as the first beam glittering on a sail that brings our friends up from the underworld here she is talking about the positive aspect the freshness the energetic or invigorating spirit of our memories that how fresh is the memory when she just try to recollect the those very happy days which are no no more she feel that her memory freshens everything and how it is freshened up just like the first beam just like the first rays of sun beam is here for the rays of sun when the first ray of the sun sparkles glitter is for shining or sparkling sparkles on a on the sails of a ship means on a ship that brings our friends up from the underworld and who is there in that very ship that ship is um, bringing back our lost friends from below the horizon here the underworld is for below the horizon so here the maiden is talking about the freshness of the memories and she is comparing it to the first rays of the sun which sparkle on a ship and that ship seems to be uh, seems to her as the as a ship which is bringing back her friends from below the horizon sad as the last which reddens over one that sinks with all we love below the verse here is she is talking about the the bitter nature of memory i should say that the memory fills her heart with sadness in the first two lines she is talking about that how the memory fills her heart with some freshness some energy when she thinks about that her friends are coming back to live in her memories but the very next moment a feeling of sadness overpowers because she realizes that friends are no more so that that feeling or those sad memories are compared with the rays of the setting sun here the last this is used for the rays of the setting sun which reddens over one means which redden the western horizon the and at over one here one again is for the ship in the first line there is a ship and that ship is just appearing in the scene with the friends and here is the ship which is just sinking down with all we love means all our beloved friends that ship is sinking below the words sinking below the horizon in the first two lines she is talking about a ship which is appearing in, in our sight and bringing our friends back before us and here she is talking about a ship which is sinking down with our friends so here she is talking about the bitter sweet nature of our memories the fresh and the sad nature of the memories so sad so fresh the days that are no more it is very uh, unhappy very sorrowful situation for her to think about the days which are no more but how strange her tears are or how strange her memories are they seems to be fresh also and at the same time they are saddening also so that's why the singer is confused that what is the exact cause of her tears in this way the maiden is singing about the futility of the tears in the in our next video we'll talk about the next two stanzas of the poem thank you